టెక్నాలజీ Uh, my cgpa is 8.3 and i am a diploma student i was completed my diploma in 2020 okay uh, with the percentage of 86.46 and coming to my technical skills python programming and database mysql and html css javascript and my hobby sir listening music cooking and uh, singing songs very good sai uh, okay good so you mentioned python mysql html css javascript right sir. so i would like to know one thing sai so what is the purpose of python python is major used to process the data okay. python it is a programming language which is used to communicate with the computers okay and what about mysql database mysql is a database which is used to store the data in organized manner okay good good okay we'll start um, the technical things sai so just uh, tell me how much you rate yourself in python out of 5 4.5 sir 4.5 super so what is the difference between break and continue break is used to uh, break is used to come out of the loop mm-hmm. continue is used to skip the current iteration and moves to the next iteration okay good good what is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy if you copy one object into another object using assignment operator the python is not allocating different memory the python is allocating same memory it is called shallow copy but we only copy the objects in the elements not the addresses it is called deep copy okay so you mean whenever you use equal that is the shallow, shallow copy, copy. Uh, whenever you use extend or some slicing techniques it is deep copy deep copy good good okay so what do you mean of slicing extracting the part of a data structure okay using index okay so what is the main difference between list and tuple the main difference is list is mutable and the tuple is immutable mm-hmm. except mutability and immutable there is immutability a, there are so many difference the list is used to store the heterogeneous values it is also storing the heterogeneous values mm-hmm. it allows duplicate values and tuple also allows duplicate values okay and list follows the order and tuple also follows the order okay. except this there is a difference called performance difference mm-hmm. the list is a bit slower compared to tuple because the tuple is i mean its immutability when we storing in objects there are high chance to store in existent memory locations okay okay good good just write a program to check whether given number is perfect number or not so i hope you know perfect number what is the meaning of perfect number perfect number the divisors of the number very good some very good yeah you just write a program for it you just read one number and you check whether that is perfect number or not yes got it got it so good just can you define string string is a group of characters with is which is enclosed with single quotes or double quotes okay and you have multiple lines of string we can use triple quotes also okay is it mutable or immutable say immutable but we are having replace function kind of thing right but 
the main address is changes it is allocating different address for the new list new string okay good good can you write a program to check whether given string is palindrome or not i want you to check whether given string is palindrome or not yes okay good good okay so what is the difference between set and position set the set is used to store the heterogeneous values but it does not allow duplicate values and it's mutable mm -hmm. and the position set is also same like that it is used to store the heterogeneous values and it does not allow duplicate values but it is immutable okay is slicing possible in set no sir because Why? there is no index in the because it does not follow order we don't have any index we don't have any index we do not do slicing okay so in precision oriented programming we divide our program into functions right why what is the advantage the main advantages of our program dividing into functions are the code reusability okay you can use your code wherever whenever you want mm -hmm. and the code should be simple set simplified okay okay what do you mean of generator generator is a special function which is used which is used the yield keyword to return the values why why it is using yield keyword because if you want to return multiple values if you use return statement it only returns the first uh, first value and it breaks okay in that place we use yield statement the yield statement if you want to return multiple values it returns one by one value if it returns the first value and it come back to the execution and continues the execution okay good so what do you mean of decorator decorator is a special function which is use it to modify the output of the function without modifying the original function mm -hmm. okay okay in which scenarios we generally use decorators if we want to if you want to change the output without changing the original function we use the decorator okay can you write uh, you know a decorator for division operation meaning i need to have a division uh, function the division function should take two inputs so it's like first i mean you have to do the division uh, in the way like first parameter by second parameter but customer is expecting like in whichever order i am giving the biggest number has to be taken as the numerator smallest number has to be taken as the denominator so in this scenario how you can write the decorator yes okay you are confusing you confused at that but yes good good you are almost you are almost there okay no worries so what do you mean of anonymous function anonymous function is a no name function and it takes number of input but only one expression okay where generally we use the anonymous functions if we want to pass one function as the input to the other function we use the anonymous function okay perfect what do you mean of closer remembering the state of the local variable outside of the function okay what so what is the difference between class and object the class is the collection of variables and methods the class is just a blueprint mm -hmm. the object is the real time entity if we want to if you when we create an object the memory needed for the variables and the methods are allocated okay what do you mean of factory method factory method is a class method which is used to create the automatic objects of the class okay uh, why why we generally use factory methods 
if you want to create the number of objects mm -hmm. the manually create the manual creation of the objects is not correct okay. in that case we use the factory method to create automatic objects okay what do you mean of magic method in python magic methods are special methods their name starts with double underscore and ends with double underscore mm -hmm. they are automatically invoked when we create an object for some function Okay, it's, I mean, you mean magic methods are only for creating objects? No, sir. They are special functions. They are they are having so many functions. Like they are automatically invoked when an action is happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. What do you mean of exception? Exception is a runtime error. Runtime error. Mm -hmm. Exception is a runtime error. Okay. Runtime error. Very good. So, I mean, is the static polymorphism possible in Python? Static polymorphism. Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll move to the MySQL. So how much you rate yourself in MySQL out of 5? 3.5, sir. 3.5. Good. So what is the use of constraints? Constraints are used to evaluate the data while entering into the table. Okay. Very good. Yes, what is the use of foreign key? Foreign key. The foreign key is used to establish the relationship between parent and child table. Okay. Good. What do you mean of joins? Joins are used to uh, in uh, RDBMS database we are dividing our tables into number of tables mm -hmm. why, we why we want to divide into number of tables if we having the same i mean we having the val same duplicate values in, for example if we have the data in same table you might be having duplicate, duplicate values. values that's what you want to say yes, okay sir. good in that scenario we divide our tables into multiple tables mm -hmm. if you want to retrieve the data from multiple tables we use joins okay good so what is the use of index index is sir use it to improve the retrieval process mm -hmm. okay okay what is the use of triggers in my scale triggers are event based reactions they are automatically invoked when for example if we create a trigger on a table if anyone do any action on the table it's automatically invokes okay okay good so that's it so you good you're doing good very good yeah okay